Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this really cool simple animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to download your vector graphic from freepick.com. All you have to do is hit download and once you've done that you need to open up the zip file and open up the Illustrator file. Once you've done that you then need to start to clean up the document to get it ready for After Effects. So you need to go through and remove things that you don't need. So all you have to do is just expand all these uh, group layers. Then you need to make a few new layers by pressing this button over here and then just dragging stuff to those new layers. For example, that's the stars and we're just going to go over here and we're going to put the ground in there and we're going to put the trees there. So while we're on the trees, we can just um, select it. You can hold alt and then just drag it over so we have another copy of the trees just over here. Okay, cool. So now we've got everything. So the only thing I want to get rid of is probably this sparkly stuff which is in the uh, stars so I'm just gonna find that layer and I'm just going to delete it all right cool so now we need to change the settings of our artboard so we're just gonna get rid of that artboard and we're just gonna go into the artboard options and we're gonna change our resolution to 1920 by 1080 now once we've done that then all we need to do is to scale this uh, vector graphic up to the same size as the artboard so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start it in this corner over here and then I'm just going to hold shift and drag it out until it gets to that size of the artboard. Now you need to really make sure that you link this up properly because otherwise the animation in After Effects will not work. So once you're happy with your uh, vector graphic and everything's prepared for After Effects, we need to save it by going to File Save. Cool. So now all we need to do is import it into After Effects. We can go into here, import file, and then we can import it as composition and just press OK. So now we have our vector graphic in After Effects and it's looking pretty good. So we need to double click this to get started. The first thing that you need to do is rename all the layers. So to rename a layer, all you need to do is just press enter on the layer and then you can start typing. Cool. So now we're going to start with some of the animation on the stars. So what we need to do is we need to press P on our keyboard for position. And before we do anything, we're going to go over here and grab our motion tile effect. Once we do that, we drag it onto our stars layer. And then we're going to click this mirror edges button. And we're just going to increase the output width, you know, to something like maybe like 650. And so now what that does is that it creates a kind of longer graphic here so we can actually animate it. So all we're going to do for the animation is we are going to click on that stopwatch on the position. We're going to move forward 10 seconds in time and then we're just going to move the stars back. And so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the work area to 10 seconds and then uh, trim comp to work area. So now I've got that first piece of animation working that's, and that's looking pretty good. That's the stars. So now we're going to move to the next thing, which is the trees. And it's the same process again. We're going to go and grab motion tile. We're going to drag it to the trees. We are going to click mirror edges and then we are just going to increase this output width. So now I'm going to do the animation on the trees. So I'm going to hit the stopwatch on position and then I'm just going to move it all the way over here just until there's no more trees or that you can't see them. So maybe we might go negative 2500, something like that. And then I'm going to move forward to the end of my clip and then I'm just going to bring that back to something like that. And so now when I play that through, you can see my trees are coming through. Now, if you want to change the speed of the trees, you obviously have to increase this size over here so we can you know bring that over much more so it looks something like that cool so now i've got my trees moving the stars moving everything's looking good 
we can then actually move the mountains as well and again it's the same process here we are going to grab motion tile we are going to click on the mountains we're going to click mirror edges and we're just going to increase the output width to 1000 and then again we are going to do that same process so i'm just going to click on the stopwatch on the mountains and then i'm just going to move it over until it's off the screen and i'm going to move that keyframe back at the start of my clip and then i'm going to move to the end of my clip and then i'm just going to bring it back so now we're going to have that motion as well so when we play that all back together you can see that the mountains are moving the stars are moving the trees are moving and it's looking pretty good so the final thing that we need to do is we can add some effects on the actual van so to do this we're just going to add a small little wiggle and we can do that by pressing p on our keyboard and then holding alt on the stopwatch and then just writing the expression wiggle and we'll, we'll do a very small wiggle so maybe like one uh, comma ten so now when we play that back you can see that the the van is kind of moving up and down and it's looking really really good the final thing that we need to do is we can actually add some animation on the moon so again it's the same kind of thing all we are going to be doing is adding a keyframe and we're just going to be moving forward in time and I'm just going to be moving that slightly so it's a very subtle animation but it's just moving there as well so the final thing that we can do to this uh, little clip here is we can highlight all of the layers here we can right click and we can pre-compose them and then we can add some subtle effects to this whole thing so if we go and press s on our keyboard for scale we can create a very subtle uh, movement from 105 to 100 and what this is doing is it just creates that small little kind of zoom in effect now if you want it to be a little bit more obvious you can increase this maybe we'll put it up to 115 something like that so now as the animation goes in time you can see that it's all coming back down to 100 percent Anyways, once you're happy with your animation, you can then export it by going into File, uh, Export, Add to Media Encoder Q, and then you can upload it and do whatever you want with it. So anyways, guys, that's it for this simple, quick tutorial. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.